Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. I'm sure you guys have heard what's been going on this morning in Palestine. Unfortunately and sadly every year, every Ramadan, there is some sort of attacking of the, of the Palestinians. But for the last two years, Masjid Al-Aqsa has been under attack. Yeah, it happened last year and again it's happened this year. At the dawn, the forces went in and with stun grenade, sound grenades, with tear gas and you see in the news they'll be mentioning rubber bullets. They are not rubber bullets. They are steel bullets and they have a thin rubber casing. So it's a, it's a steel bullet. They went in causing a ruckus and then naturally all the people are able to do is you know throw rocks. I mean what do you expect them to do? Just stand still? <laughs> yeah and the news, what are they calling it? They're calling it clashes. They're calling it clashes, but 150 people have been injured. But when you look at the footage, unfortunately and sadly, I, I can't put the footage in this video because if I do, it's going to get flagged, it's going to get shadow banned and the news doesn't get out there. I actually saw, and this is, you know, on Twitter, they are a bit more kind of open to this sort of stuff. Instagram, not so much. What we saw was there was a sister, she was on the phone. The guy came with the baton and just bludgeoned her. Yeah, the Israeli police. So another uncle, you know, two, three elderly people, the chairs are getting kicked and they're getting shoved and pushed. What threat are they posing? One of the guards there, yeah, he got shot in the eye with a quote unquote rubber bullet. And the other one was a photo journalist, yeah. So guys, these are not people that are a threat. And this happens every year. Yeah, the disproportionate force with which they come in and you'll see, Guardian calling it a clash, but the picture there, you see a person with a gun. You cannot compare a person with a gun to people with rocks, to people with stones and pebbles. This is, I, I don't understand what's going on. In fact, now we have a very good example to correlate it with. Let's correlate it with Ukraine and Russia. The rhetoric that's, that's actually said against the Russians, why? Because they're an invading force, is that of absolute dehumanization. The Russians aren't even human beings, yeah? They are occupiers. In the headlines we see, yeah, we sunk the effing boat and we did this and we did that. Subhanallah. But when it comes to the Israelis, oh no, 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 no. We, we, we can't say anything because there's stuff going on both sides, you see? Stuff going on both sides. What do you mean both sides? You've got one people, yeah? The police a state that's armed to their teeth and you compare that with people with stones and pebbles in their hands. So as we know this weekend there's a combination of three religions, you've got Passover of the Jews, you've got um, Easter of the Christians, you've got Ramadan of the Muslims and some people are trying to make it out to be a religious thing. It's not a religious thing. These religions have lived in harmony in those areas for time immemorial. It's only since the Israeli regime came that all of this is now becoming an issue. In fact, you know, they talk about anti-Semitism. This is anti-Semitism when criticizing uh, a regime, criticizing uh, a, a country becomes the same as criticizing the Jewish community. This is absolutely ludicrous. Yeah, Israel and Judaism are two separate entities. Alhamdulillah, that happened this morning and we've been following the news. But Alhamdulillah, come Juma time, mashallah, this is the good news. Muslims came in their thousands, yeah, tens of thousands, exactly 60,000 Muslims came and filled out that masjid. And guys, when we hear of things happening today and nowadays, at the very minimal standard and stage, what we should be doing is packing out the masjids, yeah, doing our ibadah, you know, making our link with Allah strong and solid, and understanding and appreciating the importance of khilafat. Muslim leadership here. Yeah? So these are things and of course sharing these materials and making yourself you know um, cognizant of what's going on and not letting people come to you and feed you garbage. Yeah because that's what they're going to do. Oh did you know that Palestinians were doing this? Yeah but that the proportion of force was that correct and the third holiest site of the Muslims Attacking that, is that justified? Somebody went into the Vatican, if somebody went into the Golden Temple of the Sikhs or, or whatever, there would be uproar, there would be absolute mayhem. But the Muslims, I would say, are more composed. Yeah, because we're not allowed to get angry, you see. Anger is not some, that's not an emotion that we're allowed to feel. So guys, let's leave it there. Uh, may Allah make it easy for our brothers and sisters that are there. 
that are resisting because this is an occupation, an illegal occupation, and they are resisting. May Allah make it easy. May Allah give us the reality of what's going on. Don't forget the Palestinians, the, the Yemeni, the Afghanis, the Ummah at large in your du'as. Let's leave it there, guys. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.